it's an excellent time to be practicing dermatology. So are you ready for Therapeutic Hotline, where we bring you advances in the management of skin diseases from leaders in the field? And I'm thrilled to have with me a friend and colleague, Dr. Bonnie Aluski from Alabama. I'm Jim Del Rosso, a dermatologist from Las Vegas, Nevada. So Bonnie, tell me about green nail syndrome. Well, green nail syndrome is a green nail caused generally by pseudomonas, but it can be much more than a pseudomonas infection. Uh, pseudomonas is the main cause, and this organism is found in the environment, particularly in areas associated with water. So risk factors for infection include a chronic moist environment, such as prolonged immersion of hands and or feet in water. It can occur in the fingernails, toenails, generally one nail, but you can have more than one nail, depending on the patient. So do these patients often have a dermatophyte first or something that causes onycholysis? What predisposes to the water getting there that sets the stage for the pseudomonas? Well, actually, Jim, I'm glad you asked that question because dermatophytes might invade the nail first, causing damage, and we have found that the dermatophytes and pseudomonas have a bipartite interaction. So particularly in a toenail, that is green in color, once you clear up the pseudomonas infection, then you might want to go on the hunt for the dramatophyte that might have caused the primary problem that paved the way for the pseudomonas infection. So they're BFFs, they like hanging around together. Absolutely, right. the very best. So what about management? Well, there's many things you can do depending on the situation. Something simple like soaking the digit, the finger or the toenail, in a d dilute solution of vinegar might be your, your first plan. I usually take a solution, half vinegar, half water, and have the patient soak in it maybe five minutes, a couple times a day. Uh, that, however, will not remove the green color, but will kill the pseudomonas. So to get rid of the green color, you might then have a dilute solution of bleach and have the patient soak their finger or their toe in the bleach for a few seconds, a minute or so, wash it off because it can irritate the skin. Um, another option for getting rid of the infection might be to make a solution of half vinegar and half rubbing alcohol and apply that with the dropper under the nail. The alcohol evaporates, leaving the vinegar, which kills the pseudomonas. Or in some patients, I might order ciprofloxacin otic or ear drops. Just be sure you instruct the patient it's to apply under the nail, not in the ear. In some patients, you might want to give an oral antibiotic, depending on the situation, maybe if they're diabetic, if they're immunocompromised. But there's one other thing you have to consider, and that is the anatomy of the finger or the toe. Right under the nail plate is the bone. So in a chronic bacterial infection, the bone, which is very close to the infection with very little to no sub, you know, subcutis, could get infected and you could get an osteomyelitis, which is a serious problem. So an x-ray of the digit may be required in persistent infections, in patients who are immunocompromised, in diabetics, or people who have exquisitely tender digits. Yeah, if this keeps recurring, then you're thinking there's something deeper going on or something more involved going on. Yes, indeed. So what about other things that can simulate this, other infections or problems? Well, one thing that might mimic this greenish color is candida. So candida can cause what we call a fungal melanonychia. And so a nail that's black, but it may be greenish black. Um, and so if you see a greenish black color on the lateral edge of the nail, extending to the cuticle, uh, with maybe some swelling in the cuticle area causing a perinychia, Candida could be the cause, not pseudomonas. Or perhaps you have two problems, candida and pseudomonas. So you would have to treat that patient appropriately. And with candida, it usually forms the pigmentation near the lateral nail folds? Indeed. Okay. And I would give the patient who had candida fluconazole, uh, perhaps 200 milligrams every day for a week or so, and then uh, once a week uh, for a couple weeks after that. So it sounds like you have a few summary points that it's caused by pseudomonas. You, have you can to manage it topically, right? keep the area dry, because remember it's a, a microorganism that likes water, and rule out candida, particularly on the lateral edge of the nail. So, there you go. Therapeutic hotline talking about uh, common nail disorders, specifically green nail syndrome, but thinking about underlying osteomyelitis and candida infection. Thank you for joining us. 
my pleasure.